leftovers. Mmm. It's leftovers where I read the jokes we didn't use this week. And as always, it's my first time reading them. So if they suck, we'll put Joe Mackey on a trampoline near a helicopter. <laughs> Today, a 4.8 magnitude earthquake hit Lebanon, New Jersey, and it was felt throughout New York City. But upon further investigation, turns out Chris Christie just sat down. <laughs> Joy Behar walked onto the View set wearing two different color shoes this week. Producers explained it wasn't her fault. These were simply the shoes that the blacksmith selected. <laughs> Speaking of Joy Behar, <laughs> she says women who look beautiful are not funny, making her the funniest woman to ever <laughs> live. <laughs> Unnecessary, but Mayor Pete says people who don't want electric cars are like people who wanted landlines forever. Then he went home and plugged in his car. <laughs> Yeah, it deserves a smattering of applause. Yeah. Just a smattering. House Republicans are facing pushback from their own plans to rename a D.C. airport after Trump. Democrats wanted to name it after Bill Clinton, but then it would only service wide bodies. <laughs> In a new hypothetical matchup, Michelle Obama trails Trump by the same percentage as Joe Biden. Meanwhile, here's what's trailing Joe Biden. <laughs> you are disgusting. <laughs> New York City is planning to build a 40-floor jail to house prisoners. That way, oh, <laughs> you like high-rises. <laughs> That way, inmates on the top floors not only get excellent views of the city, but Hillary Clinton can't get to them. <laughs> yeah. During a recent episode of Finding Your Roots, legendary actor Michael Douglas learned that he's related to Scarlett Johansson. At first, he was shocked, but then saddened when he realized he couldn't bang her. <laughs> A new report warns that self-driving semi-trucks will soon dominate U.S. highways. Now when truckers pee in Snapple bottles, they can do it at home. <laughs> All right. A new study found that half of gym goers will reuse their sweaty workout underwear. <laughs> and some people then sell them on eBay. I knew it. <laughs> I got ready for it. I propped myself up. I saw that one coming. An L.A. surgeon says the size of a man's nose most directly correlates with his penis length. So congrats, Pinocchio. <laughs> An Italian island overrun by goats is begging people to catch them and take them away. Locals are complaining, but the Taliban says it's a great place to meet hot singles. <laughs> the USDA has confirmed that bird flu has now hit dairy cows, which means the bovines will have to start masking up. <laughs> a new poll finds that New York Congressman Jamal Bowman trails his opponent in his re-election bid by 17 points. 17 points. If only there was a way to sound an alarm. <laughs> I'll take it. I got it. A 76-year-old man in Canada claims he got an infection after being bitten by a rat in his toilet bowl. Here's a picture of that rat. <laughs> Despite a full-fledged war, Ukrainians living in the UK are headed home to get better dental treatment. Yes. Getting blown to pieces is still better than seeing a British dentist. <laughs> Didn't even have to write a punchline, really. <laughs> Scientists claim there's a wild new invisibility shield that makes you disappear in plain sight. Who needs an invisibility shield for that, says one man. <laughs> Finally, 
Kamala Harris says women's college basketball wasn't allowed to have brackets until 2022. I know. She added that she also looked forward to the day women can vote. <laughs> Now to the news. Can 